So this is how far I came last night until the silly hoover started to explode on me. This is all clean now and got a new bag in and all that, but uh, yeah, I have to like put the power down a little bit because the hoover is apparently too strong for those cheaper version of bags. Beautiful sunny day outside today. Paul is out walking with Sally. Um, I want to go out with him later because uh, enjoy the sunshine. Hi guys, I've basically just woken up and it's quite late, but um, I didn't get to bed till about 5.30. And right now I have to edit the video from yesterday. Um, also, there was a guy who had one of these for sale uh, where all the electronic worked, but the actual arms were broken like these ones. Uh, and he didn't want to fly it. Um, I asked him how much do you want for that spare part. Um, then I could put all the electronics over in that. And he asked for a ridiculous price, especially because in the... Um, it's like you can see the comments been going on. He's been writing with another person who wants to buy it, and he gave a price which is like 300 Danish kroner or 350. And then I asked him how much do you want for it because I have one where um, the uh, electronics is screwed up. And if your electronics works, and he said they do, then I probably would like to buy it and see if I could fix it. Oh, now he suddenly wanted 600 for us. 600 you just about to sell it for, for a guy underneath the three 350 or 300 so I'm not paying that so um, I said to him well I'll give you 250 including shipping and that's it then I paid 500 for in total and I got a lot of spares um, but I want to make sure that the electronic works because he said that with that helicopter he brought the arms and stuff which means it has been crashed and when something like that crashes, uh, the electronics is always in risk of having damages. So that's crazy. But anyways, i got to ship this tomorrow. This is the car the guy bought um, yesterday. So I'm really excited. But my goal today, definitely finish that bit off so we can move furniture, just start moving that back. And then hopefully start taking away the carpet in the hallway and maybe start putting some flooring down there. That would be nice. So we're getting close. The last bit is going to be a little bit tricky um, because I'll have to cut out pieces who fits behind the radiators and all three pieces have to be knocked in at once. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit interesting. <laughs> da, 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 da. It might look like a terrible mess, but guys, I am done in the living room with the floor. Now I just need to put the skirting boards back on and I've done a very good job behind the radiators and all that. So yeah, I'm very pleased with the result. It looks really nice. So. Those are the covers that Paul he bought to put on there, down by the feet of that. Just need to get these uh, extenders out. That's how you got to do this, guys. You need to allow some room into the wall so the wood can expand, uh, else you're going to have problems. Because if it expands out to both sides and you can't move further out, it'll just meet in the middle and like, warp up. So yeah. We can hear your claws everywhere now. They're getting long. Yeah, when you're done, you can't, you can't be anywhere in the house without us knowing where you are. We can hear click, 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 click. Yes, we can. <laughs> she's, still, she's still very confused, like, what's going on? What's all this? A little break from floor mounting, installing, installation, and everything. Coming out for some bit fresh air. Seeing Sally on her second walk today. And, uh, yes, I'm excited to go home and put the skirting boards on. Hopefully, it'll be a pain-free process. Um, the old holes where I took the nails out from, I will fill them up with filler and then they're going to be painted. We're going to paint them like in a white, grayish, almost white color, just so the walls and the panels are not the same color. So it's going to be light gray, um, close to white. But uh, yeah, really happy I finished that one. I think that was the worst room to do because it's so big and it takes a long time for you to see that you actually get anywhere. Where with the hallway, it'll really quick, and bedroom and my office will be fairly good. I, I can, I will not be surprised if I can definitely complete uh, maybe the hallway and a bedroom in one day. Um, but depending on how I feel and how much time it takes to put the skirting boards down, I will probably start taking skirting boards down in the hallway and maybe move the carpet tonight and slam down a few boards, which would be nice. Paul walked ahead. Because I was playing Kendama. Oh, look, a bit of snow. And then Sally is running back and forth between us. And um, I think she's going to come here in a second. So let's just have a look. Sally!
Hello! <laughs> yeah, she burned up some good energy. But there's no wind right now, so I think while we go home and take the helicopter and try and see if I can get it flying outside on the garden. <sighs> or in the garden. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'll definitely film it so you guys can see. I don't think I'll have much success in it. I think it's screwed. So, uh, if I can't make it work today, and that other guy, which I talked about, who got one for sale, if I can't really press him down in price, I'm just going to sell the other one for spares. So, I'm not going to make the money home on that, because I paid about 200 for it, uh, and I can easily make like 300 in parts. Just alone, all the frame and all that is in perfect condition, so. Hello! You've been speeding around, haven't you, miss? You're gonna get wet. Don't you? Sh she's gonna dig onto you. Is that mole? Or a mouse? Is that mole or a mouse? There's loads of mole, mouse holes here. Sally, can you move over? I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. Meanwhile, the camera is freezing his tits off. <laughs> Boom! Right, let's, um, let's try again. It doesn't really work properly. There's something wrong with it, but it did have a little fly. So yeah, um, some of it does work, but not all of it, far from it. Uh, I did manage to have a little hover there. Unfortunately, whatever I do on the control, it doesn't really do as I want it to do. Um, but uh, yeah, at least I had a little hover with it, so it's not completely, completely bad. Um, but uh, I don't know what needs to be done to fix it. Um, but I'm not paying a fortune to fix it because there's like a 2.0 model out which is much cooler. I am just sitting there playing with um, the AR drone trying to figure out some other settings and stuff. I actually managed to change it to call it iZilly's AR drone if you can see that. I don't know if we'll focus. There you go. <laughs> I managed to have a fly as you saw and that was kind of cool. Um, but I now figured out why I couldn't get it to fly quicker towards me. Um, in the setting menu, I didn't know all this. Um, I can actually show you. Hold on a second. Alright, so I'm going to go into the drone app which looks like this. It's just connecting. There we go. Um, and if you uh, will have a look there. This is what the camera sees. This is a camera out in the front of it, and that's what it sees. So if I do like this, and I can like, so you can like kind of point at a camera right there. So you can probably see the front camera there in the screen. You can see me. Hello. Oh, sorry. I'm in. I'm in a drone cam. So. 
that's how that works. So I didn't know this that when um, you use these things here, uh, that you have a setup thing here, and you click flat trim. So now the gyro knows that I'm completely flat surfaced. Um, then you can like scroll down. I didn't know that. Um, so if you scroll down, you can see like all kinds of things. Uh, that's where I change it. Uh, you can change the name and everything and altitude and stuff like that and then you got outdoor hall uh, I flew over the indoor but I could choose to fly outdoor um, and then you can like push these things up here you can see that they were all the way down so there's no it's like that's the reason why I didn't react very much because it was set like on the very very soft setting so it wouldn't like go crazy uh, and I can click default setting so goes back to normal again but I will again tomorrow try and fly with a bit more of these. I'm not quite sure if I take outdoor flight. I should also get something how high I want to go. Um, like a max height or something like that. I think I saw that somewhere. Um, no? That must be in the other one, the new one, the 2.0. Um, oh, that changed it. It changes these to go a lot more quick, so you've had to take that off. It, it's hexing down again, so now it knows it's indoor, and oh, I can't hit, and now ah, I can't, I, I'm looking at the camera screen, and now it's outdoor, so it gets a lot more speed there. So I'll try that tomorrow and see if um, that will work. So now you know a little bit about that, but um, yeah, um, I don't know exactly what's gone wrong. I noticed that the one where I'm having the problem is with the other battery up there with the black plug. The one with the white plug seems to be the one working, um, but they're both genuine. And I was like thinking, well, how can I figure out if it's genuine? It could be a copy. Because if you look here, there's a little, like a rainbow thingy, a little sticker there, which tells me that it's a genuine. It has a code and I checked it. And so does the other one have it right here. So those are genuine batteries. Which is cool. Yeah, look, my, don't mind my thumb. That's like accidents from doing all the uh, wooden flooring because I'm clumsy and don't think me as think me think about things before I do them. Um, yeah, so a little bit of a drum update. But um, if I don't find a, a cheap, cheap one which I can get for spare parts or find um, the new electronics uh, very, very cheap, I will probably just sell it on as part. Uh, which is a little bit annoying because this here is like supposed to be a very very easy drone to fly and I had hoped that if I could get this working then besides me flying it maybe Paul would have a go at it because he's like interested in it but I don't think he's like ready to go and buy something himself but he, I don't think he wouldn't mind trying it so yeah anyways guys um tomorrow skate park kids holidays I'm probably gonna open a bit earlier but I, I want to tomorrow try and set my alarm get up not too late and then just finish the skirting board around the living room and uh, yeah if I do that I'll be happy and then maybe eventually um, peel off the skirting boards in the hallway but I don't really know um, it all depends because I used to say I'm gonna go some somewhat earlier to bed now it's midnight it's like 12 o'clock now and it'll probably be two or three o'clock before I go to bed <sighs> knowing myself not later so we'll see anyways guys I'm gonna catch you tomorrow see you later peace here on this AR drone thing and see if that might help anything. Don't know if it will, but um, as mentioned earlier, in case it doesn't work, I can always use it for spares, man. I'm glad I got this buddy. They come in like two or three buddies.